drawing. Hey guys, John Pry here once again with another real quick Droid Does video. Um, basically, I'm just here to answer a couple, answer a question that I have been plagued with um, over the last several months, and that's I've installed 2.1. Uh, be it I got the either I got the OTA update or I manually installed it, which Verizon insists is going to void your warranty. It's not kitties. But that's not the point. Um, either way, I'm running you know official 2.1, and I only have three screens, and I don't have the fancy new launcher. What's up with that? How do I get it? Um, well, I'm gonna show you the easiest way. Um, in my last video that I had showed us on the 2.1 stuff, um, I was using another method. It's really, really buggy. I don't recommend doing it. Um, this is the, the proper, the right way to go about doing things. Um, first off, we're going to go to settings, and we're going to go to about phone, and so you can see there, 2.1, update 1, everything, you know, everything is, is, is you know, legit. We are running 2.1, and kind of a spoiler there, but, you know, we only have three screens. Um, Here's what you're going to do first, because you're going to get prompted to do this later, so just do it. Um, take all of your applications off of your home screen, all of your widgets off of your home screen as well. So now you're going to have three completely blank screens, and go into the Android market. Okay, so we're in the market, and what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick little search for Helix uh, Helix Launcher, which I already have saved there, and you're going to get two apps. Helix Launcher, Helix Launcher 2. If you're running the Motorola Droid, running 2.0 or 2.1, or 2.0.1 or 2.1, pardon me, you're going to want to install Helix Launcher 1. Uh, don't touch Helix Launcher 2 unless you're running the Nexus 1, which I don't really understand why you need it if you're running the Nexus 1, because it already kind of has it, but whatever. Um, Helix Launcher, which you see I already have installed, it's free. It's a free application. Um, basically, you're, you know, you're going to click on it. Uh, walk, you know, it's going to take you through the steps to download it and everything. And I'm just actually going to give it a quick rating here, because um, it is great. Um, you know, all the, all the usual crap that you get when you pull up any app. You're gonna go ahead, uh, download it, install it, let it let it let it work its magic. Once it's done, um, you're gonna hit the home key, and this is gonna come up. Um, either launch the uh, complete the action either using the Helix launcher or the home. I'm gonna go ahead and make this my default setting, and select Helix launcher. And it didn't bring me back to my. Oh, it did. Okay. And it brought me back to the, actually the settings I had before I did this video. I actually switched back to the stock launcher. And as you can see, in this particular case, I now have one, two, three, four, five, and actually six screens. You can have up to seven. Basically, the way you're going to get up to, plus also these uh, nifty little um, hard buttons, as I like to call them, um, basically just for stagnant buttons that do not change. You can access them from any screen. Uh, it just makes life a hell of a lot easier, especially if you're always constantly flipping through screens. So basically what you're going to do from here, if you want to get more than three screens, because it is by default only going to give you three, um, you're going to hit the menu key and now you have this option configure. You're going to select configure and screen size. I currently have mine set to six. Um, it's asking you to please remove all widgets and all that, blah, 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 which we've already done, hopefully. Um, screen size, again, you can change it. You can leave it at, you know, you can change it to put it to whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to cancel it. Another thing that you can do is if you enable the double tap on the screen and back out of here. Now, if I double tap on the screen we're going to get those nice little windows that we've seen in some of the other launchers um, on the actual phone itself which is really nice I know a lot of people like that 
Um, especially when I have a live wallpaper on here, it kind of gets in the way um, of me playing with it, so I'm not a big, big fan of it. But I do, I do see the use of it. Real quick, just to show you, it does not have the kind of infinite scrolling 3D app drawer that uh, so many of us are used to seeing the shots of the Nexus 1. It is unfortunate. There is um, a paid app in the market that you can actually get. Um, I have not downloaded it yet, um, but it's actually the Cyanogen mod uh, da, 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 launcher, which for whatever reason is not coming up in the app drawer. Kind of in the app world, kind of weird. Oh, there we go. The Clockwork Mod launcher, actually. It's $2.99. I have not purchased this yet, because really the only difference between it and Helix Launcher is... Um, the fact that it offers a 3D app drawer, something I'm not particularly a big fan of. To each his own. So that's it, real quick. This is how you get more than two, more than three screens on your Droid running 2.1, um, or if for whatever reason you're still stuck on 2.0.1 and haven't gotten the OTA or haven't taken the plunge to do the uh, manual update, do it. Um, it'll work on that too, for whatever reason, if you're still running 2.0.1. Um, see, catch you next time. Peace.